was a moonlit night at Newton Abbott, and Lizzie was working with King Edward. The mogul was taking a goods train up to Handsworth on Wyvern. Never that owl hoots a mystery was in. There's a legend that when there's a mist about, there's a bitch about too. Take care of North, Lizzie old girl. Gone. Could it be now? <laughs> That's not even a bird. Owls. Mists. Bitches. Edward's going soft in the boiler. But Lizzie was wrong. What the hell is that? It's the breakdown train. That means there's an accident. Who's there? No one replied. Lizzie crept slowly forwards. She stopped by a sign. It had a sign nailed to it. It said. This is a sign. Oh, shit, shit. The driver was surprised. No one warned us about that before. And look, the signal's red and the tunnel is closed. Uh, 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 and there's a tender. But where's its owner? Then they heard a moan from behind the line of trucks. Oh, b b b bitches! Edward was right! Something very spoopy is happening. I think it's best we go back. So do I! Oh, yeah, that's the good shit. Thanks for the drugs, Mr. Pimp. That was very good. Don't mention it. Call me Sam, by the way. Gary, come on. We have more clients waiting for us. Steady on this, Sam. This is a really heavy train. Also, get rid of that stupid sign. I need to unlock the tunnel. By morning, the mist had cleared. A workman was talking about the closed tunnel. Ah, hi. Lucky you didn't go through it last night. Yes, but we don't know who warned us. It was hardly a warning, it was just a sign identifying itself. Oh, hush, old girl. Later that day, the message came. The tunnel has been repaired so we can take our train up north tonight. But Lizzie didn't really want to. <laughs> but when Nightfall and Louise came, she was sizzling nicely. Oh god, it smells like uh, Stilton! This is better. No owls, no mist, no bitches. Hoot! Hoot! Suddenly an owl hooted. And bitch with thundered bar. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, look! Lizzie speaked! Said a truck, and the others giggled in their silly way. Oh, fuck off, you stubby cunts. I'm not scared. But she was. No, I'm not. Piss off! A little later, the fog came down. As they approached the same area, they saw the breakdown train again. Here we go. We'll move fast and get through the tunnel quickly. That will leave anything suspicious behind. Very good, driver. Then, unbeknown to Lizzie, the cray mysteriously became erect and the signal went red. Then the moan started near the reblocked tunnel. But the trucks had seen all and they were spooked too. Stop! Stop! I can't see you twats! Some mysterious figures watched Lizzie go by. <coughs> Bloody hell, Carf, you didn't have to go that deep. <coughs> Sorry, my dear. Was it Lizzie just now? I believe so. Poor girl looks like she shot herself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I see. You think we scared her? Hmm. Probably. Bitch, I did not say stop! Meanwhile, at the yards, Hercule was telling ghost stories. And every year, on the date of the accident, it runs again as a warning to others. Plunging into gap, shrieking like a loose bitch. Hercule, what are you talking about? The auto bitch. George saw it last night. I reserve that to whoever went peasant. Yeah. He didn't say. God, it makes my wheels wobble just to think of it. <laughs> You're just being a silly bastard. I have better things to do. Fucking rude man. 
mate. Julie didn't believe in your bitch. Neither do I. It was Louise pretending on the telephone. I'm naked. No, you're not Louise. This is a rip-off. I'm hanging up now. Bugger. Hercule was disappointed and went to shunt some trucks. Suddenly, a line of vans clattered through the junction. A few minutes later, the signals changed and Gary the 9F rolled in with a very flustered pimp on board. Prince Philip the signalman ran up to them. Excuse me, your royal highness, would have you seen some vans by any chance? Why, uh, why, why, yes, my good sir. Uh, a, li a line of them went rolling past a couple of minutes ago. Thank you, uh, your royal highness. Uh, come on, Gary, we need to catch those drugs. Ah, uh, 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 fuck, I mean vans. Bye-bye. Very good, Mr. Pimp. It wasn't long before they found the vans. Quick, we'll couple up to them. Oh, oh crap, someone's coming, Mr. Pimp. Ah, fuck, fuck it. Gary, let's go, 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 go! Lizzie was having trouble controlling the trucks. Fans full of bad you lay ahead. Sam the Pimp had gone for help. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Lizzie blew the drugs into smithereens. Trucks and Addy flew everywhere. Luckily, the mogul managed to stay on the rails. Lizzie? Lizzie, her crew felt her all, all right? over to see if she was hurt. When they tried to get her moving again, she wouldn't budge. She just shuddered. Lizzie? Oh, I... Why you still can? Lizzie, we're your crew. We just can't. Just fucking... <laughs> Lizzie shot off into the night. Her crew ran back to the yards and explained what had happened. I'll see to it, but uh, we, we must act fast or people will think that the auto bitch's legend is true. Two hours later. Shut the fuck up and get to the back, you fucking dick! Little Caitlin quickly reversed back into the corner of the shed. There was a nightlight in the corner. She read a story to herself to feel better. The very hungry caterpillar in the light of the moon, a little egg lay on the leaf. I swear to God, my ears are going to be fucking raw! Further up the line, King Edward was running light engine back to Newton Abbott. It was dark, and he was anxious to get back to the sheds. As he approached Totnes, however, Usually the sleeper services pass around this time of night. Where on earth is everyone? What was that? Ew, it's, it's just you, Miss Elizabeth. How would... Um, Elizabeth? What are you? <laughs> you know, I think I get it. Miss? Why you run from the auto, but she, she can't keep a dry ash pan around you. Yet you run away from her, leaving her unsatisfied. Any thirsty engine would jump at that kind of scenario. Why are you stopping? But I know why. Why you run. She's not enough for you. You need a real engine to rock your cock! No! 
Come here! Oh, you fucking teeth! Come on, you know you want it! Later that same evening. <laughs> Thought you could get away from me, Eddie, baby. Did you forget I did stealth recon during the Great War? <laughs> How did you- There's a loop line around the swamp. Ew, ew cock. But, but I can still get away- uh, 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 I wouldn't try that if I were you, Eddie. You are aware in front of you is a set of trap points. Oh! By Jove! You, you're just fucking with me. Oh no, Eddie. I'm gonna be just fucking you! Mommy! Word soon spread down the line, and so had Lizzie. The engines decided to take matters into their own buffers. Number one section. John! Standard! Ace! Stand easy. All right, men. Miss Louise has kindly donated her industrial nudes to us. Holding still my supply! We should be taking the nudes to bathe Lizzie at a colliery. Any questions? Good. Sergeant Tom, Gun and Roger, carry on. Oh, and Sergeant Major. Sir! Go find the sergeant, will you? Very good, sir! Industrial rules. <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> As the engine stopped for water, the trucks became bored. Let's break away! The nudes were heavy and the couplings old. One snapped. Ah, uh, we appear to have lost our train. Faster, faster! A sign read, Twank. But the silly trucks were illiterate. Then it was too late. Tom and Roger arrived at the scene of disaster. Their crew sighed. Oh no, this is my fault. I was too busy picking my nose. We'll have to get help to pull them out. Oh, the brigadier will be very pissed off, I can tell you that much. And he was. What do you mean you lost the nudes? How are we supposed to bait the mogul now? I'm sorry, sir, but the nudes were very potent. Damn it all! You two stay here and look after Miss Louise. I'm off to find Lizzie's partner. Bitchwood had just returned from her express and was delighted at the stupid dilemma. Fancy not securing your nudes. They'll come back to spook you in your little friendship. Shut off, you bitch! Who's to say you're not afraid of ghosts? Pop ghosts! Things that go bump in the night are rubbish. Well, sit your butt down and I'll tell you a story that'll make your funnel quiver, amongst other th No, no, not making that joke. It's too lowbrow. I have standards, I'll tell you. Five standards. Standard five. A long time ago, a mogul was returning home. It was an overly drunk night. As the mogul found her partner, she suddenly lost control and plunged into extreme coital pleasure below. She was never found again. 